But first to Chief National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin with the very latest for us from the Pentagon. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Martha. Senior U.S. defense officials believe Putin's threat to pull out of the New START treaty is another example of nuclear saber rattling designed to spook the U.S. from supporting Ukraine. Mr. President, any reaction to Putin saying he's pulling out of New START? New START is the last remaining post-Cold War U.S.-Russia arms control treaty. Experts have warned it has been on life support for some time, giving U.S. inspectors limited visibility into Russia's nuclear arsenal. Putin canceled talks designed to revive the treaty last year, barring warhead and missile inspections since the Ukraine invasion. Both sides have accused each other of violating the treaty, which allowed for regular on-site inspections and caps on deployed nuclear weapons, 700 ICBMs and submarine-launched ballistic missiles and bombers, 1,550 nuclear warheads. Rose Gottenmuller was the chief negotiator of the New START treaty. My view is that Putin has become so resentful toward uh, the United States and toward its allies, toward the NATO alliance, that he is not seeing clearly the national security interests of the Russian Federation. The notion that he would pull the plug on 50 years of constraints on nuclear uh, force posture that really constrains the United States and perhaps uh, even uh, lead to a new nuclear arms race. The Pentagon is watching closely the relationship between Putin and China. Today was the opening ceremony for joint naval drills between Russia and China, hosted by South Africa. U.S. defense officials say they believe Russia will stick to the agreed limits on nuclear missiles and keep informing the United States about changes in its deployments. But it's not clear at this point. Martha? Jennifer Griffin at the Pentagon, thank you very much.